Welcome back to Trade Talks. I'm your host, Jill Malandrino, global markets reporter at NASDAQ. We're coming to you live from Georgetown University's McDonough School of Business at the DC Blockchain Summit for 2018. Joining me is Perry Ann Boring. She is the president and founder of the Chamber of Digital Commerce. Thank you so much. It's great to see you again back in DC, but tell us a little bit about the Chamber. Well, thanks so much for having me. So the Chamber of Digital Commerce is the world's largest trade association that represents companies that are both innovating with and investing in blockchain-based technologies. So we represent over 160 companies. This includes a range of stakeholders from banks and financial institutions, technology companies, uh, cutting-edge startups, consultancies, um, top technology companies, so all those involved in the ecosystem. And we're mostly focused on the policy challenges. Mm -hmm. So our mission is to promote the acceptance and use of digital assets and blockchain-based technology. And we believe that government and regulation and policy can definitely be a barrier to adoption. Um, so we're strategically located here in Washington, D.C., and working through the regulatory challenges for our members. So what's happening at the summit this week at Georgetown? So this is a big event. This is our keystone event that we do. We have over 500 um, attendees here today. Um, there's a lot of folks within government, a lot of the partners that we work through um, who are um, working on Capitol Hill, regulators and the agencies and so on. Um, it's also our members. We have members who've come in all over the world to be here today um, to just share about the work that they're doing in this industry. So much in Washington, the dialogue, when people talk about Bitcoin and blockchain and cryptocurrencies, is often something negative. Either someone did something wrong, someone didn't follow the law, someone couldn't figure out the law, there's a new hearing, and, you know, there's some reason why you know, we shouldn't embrace this technology. So we really wanted to change the dialogue. We really want to talk about the positive benefits. We want to highlight some of the innovative companies who are really adding new ways to improve the way we conduct business and transact in our daily lives. Um, so we're taking control of that dialogue, sharing some of our members, um, and promoting blockchain through a thought leadership forum with the summit. All right, and to wrap it up, tell us what, uh, what the update is on the Token Alliance. So the Token Alliance is an initiative that's operated by the Chamber. Um, we put this together in response to the, all the activity we've seen around token issuances and initial coin offerings. Um, so right now there's a lot of um, regulatory uh, kind of fogginess in terms of exactly what is a security and what is not a security in this era of tokenization. So we've brought together over 250 token and blockchain experts to write the best practices for token issuances. So if you're going to issue a token or an IC what should we see and what does the industry expect to see and bringing everyone together to agree on what that would look like. When we hear from regulators um, like the SEC, their main concern is really the retail investor. And this document will be just a really easy how-to um, guide to get involved in the token ecosystem in a safe and responsible way. All right. Well, I'm excited to see what the conversation is going to be like just from a year from now. It has changed so fast, even in the past three years that we've been covering this. Yeah, it's exciting times. Thanks for being here. All right. Thank you very much for joining me throughout the day. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ.